guys, so today I'm going to be doing a collective haul. So I know I haven't really done a proper kind of beauty video haul on my good camera. I've done a couple hauling off the items as I got them in my vlogs. But um, so I just thought I would do, for people who don't watch those vlogs and like to only watch the beauty videos, I thought I would do kind of more of a collective haul showing you what I've bought in the past couple of months. So it's just going to be a rundown of everything. So it's going to be a bit miss and match because I've bought some shoes, some makeup products, some kind of kitchen stuff, some birthday presents, so hopefully you will enjoy this video. So I guess to get started, the first thing which I'll show you is, so a couple probably start off January, February, I bought this really big bag from Priceline, so it was just all of these um, kind of skincare products for you to try. So I tried out a couple and I actually found that I really, really liked this one, so I went and repurchased it. And this is the Nivea Daily Essentials 2-in-1 Wash and Scrub, so I love using this especially if I'm going to be fake tanning or anything. It just removes all kind of like the dead skin cells and all the dry skin, and it gives me a really nice kind of base for my tan to apply on to. Sorry about that. Um, so the next product is this Henna Eyebrow cream so I actually used this when I was in Poland last year so last year when I went I wanted to get my eyebrows done I didn't really know any good beauticians or anything so I thought why not do it myself so I went into the pharmacy and they had this Delia Cosmetics and so it's actually a henna cream and so in Australia we don't I've, I haven't come past any henna creams we have like developers and dyes and just more gels but not really henna so I thought I would give it a go and I actually really like it it it's so pigmented and it actually catches onto the skin, which is something that I've noticed that lots of eyebrow places do. So they actually kind of follow the line and then they dye the skin underneath as well. And that gives you a bit more of a natural finish and also a really deep color. So I got this in the color 40 brand. When I was actually purchased it the first time, I got a kind of trial kit. So it was just in a sachet. And then this one actually comes in little kind of bottles and containers so you can kind of mix how much you want and I honestly don't need a lot of this I could probably see this lasting me for around a hundred uses or something just because you don't need to use a lot of it and it's really pigmented so I just like to maybe apply this once every couple of weeks to my eyebrows to give them a bit more of a darker tint because mine are quite blonde and natural so I actually really like this one and I purchased this from eBay so it was shipped from Bulgaria it came to Australia it took about maybe three weeks shipping total time but it wasn't too bad and it retails for around eight dollars australian so that was another really good buy um next up are a couple nail polishes which i purchased from maya so i purchased this one in it's like a green color it actually looked a lot nicer online it looks like kind of like a vomit green maybe but um i'm hoping that it will still look nice for work so this is in the color 520 muse and i also bought the Ilamasca load and this is a really nice kind of neutral cream pinky toned color no, actually more cream than anything. So I am bought this more for work and so I'm hoping that it will look nice and more of like a pastel. And I'm actually thinking it looks quite nice to me if I can do my ring finger in this colour. But yeah, so I really like that one and that's in the colour Load. There's no number but it's just the colour Load. Um, and then the last thing from Maya I guess is I went yesterday to Miss Shop Accessories and so I was just having a look through and I thought that this watch is the cutest thing I've ever seen and I thought it's perfect for work just because it's very dainty and just, I don't know, it's really cute and they also had it in two different colours. They had it in the cream uh, pastel purple or like a lilac -y colour and also a pinky toned but I preferred the cream and I got it for $5. It was half price off $9 so... That's another really good buy. Now venturing away from more kind of accessories onto makeup. So I purchased the L'Oreal True Match a couple of weeks ago. I have used this in a couple of my videos. I've just never hold it. So I actually bought it in the colour W3. And so I actually tried most of the colours. I thought that W4 was too dark. W3 matches me when I tan. And then I can also get away with if I use a bronzing because I don't really, when I do tan, I only go a shade darker. It's not a lot. So I can always kind of fix any kind of mistakes or foundation colours with a bit of bronzing but I really liked this one and I thought that it covers very very well and I do kind of agree with all the raves that people have about this product um, and then I also went and purchased the Maybelline Hyperglossy so I did a one brand makeup tutorial I've noticed they're really popular and I have been requested to do it so I wanted to do more of like an affordable drugstore one brand makeup look so I did a Friday night look and so this is the Hyperglossy liquid eyeliner I've already opened it and I used it it's actually what I'm wearing right now I actually really like it. it's really easy to use it's a long brush that allows you to kind of get in draw the wing and it's also a very steady brush so 
I really like that one. Um, and then because if you do follow me on my vlogs, I got my nails done for my bowl, which was a couple weeks ago. And then my nails grew really, really quick. So I had to refill them and I didn't really want to go back to the place that I went. So I bought a pack. I bought Glam Nails Manicare Set and I got this from Priceline. So you get the acrylic, you get the powder, you get the brush, you get the fake nail tip so you can actually do it yourself from the beginning as well. Word of warning though, it smells so bad. Definitely do it in a ventilated room and it's, it's actually horrible smell, but it actually worked. It was pretty easy to do and I quite like how it turned out. And I actually ended up painting over the top with the Ruby Shoes Lilac Nail Polish. But yeah, so I'd recommend this kit if you have fake nails and you kind of want to DIY at home. Um, and then going on to shoes. So I did show this in my kind of impromptu vlog haul, but I bought these from the Iconic. So these are the black lace up heels. I, they're so Kim Kardashian and this is the reason why I bought them. I wanted to wear them with black jeans and a white t-shirt or something. They're super high. They're 11 centimeters, 11.5 centimeters, I think. And then they zip up at the back. And yeah, so I really like these ones. And I got them for around, I actually got them so inexpensive. They were probably under $15 these. And I mean, that's very good for Australians. So I actually don't mind the Iconic and they're quite good quality. And they're very easy for returns as well. I also picked up these spur, they're more of a brown toned cut out shoe, very Kim K as well, pairing with jeans and stuff I was thinking for nights out. So yeah, I haven't actually worn these ones, I've worn the black ones, I haven't worn these ones but yeah, so I really really like them and it's such an affordable, these were around under $10 I'm pretty sure, which is a very good price. Uh, I'm just kind of picking things off my desk as I go, so I'm sorry if it's going to get, be a bit loud, so I'm going to go into the plastic bag now. Um, I went to Priceline and I bought some kind of more um, hair care things, so I bought the Batiste dry shampoo. I got it in blush because I really like the smell and I also really love dry shampoo just for every day before work. If you're in a rush, it's really nice to get refreshed hair and it's so easy to use. I also bought the renewing, renewing Argan Oil of Morocco, Morocco um, Argan Oil, so this is just to put in my hair after I come out of the shower, especially into the ends because my hair is quite dry. So I always like to moisturise it and kind of leave in and leave in moisturiser. So I'm hopefully going to try that out soon and then I can do a review if you like. I also got the Schwarzkopf Extra Care Hair Repair leave-in condition. I've used this before. This is just an easy spray in bottle and I really like it just because it kind of is something to put on my ends and it makes them feel really soft and silky and smooth. Um, and then going back to makeup is the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour 45 Bold Gold. So I bought this. It's just kind of like a eyeshadow base, eyeshadow color. Um, I thought for everyday wear quickly, just apply it to the eyelid with some mascara. It's going to be a very kind of summery bronzed goddess look. And it's so easy, so I purchased that. Um, next up is... Okay, so I guess now I'm going to venture on into something completely different. So it's my brother's birthday and he recently moved out. So I went to the King of Knives store, which is a store in Australia that you can go buy just various kitchen homewares and, and so I picked him up a couple of things for his kitchen just because I know that he needs to stock up on some of that stuff. So actually I'll take it out because it's going to be a bit loud because of the plastic bag rustling, but I will show you these things. Okay, so the first thing I got is, it's so cute, it's actually a lemon squeezer and it's really easy to use. So you cut your lemon in half, you put it in here. And it's so efficient at just getting all the juice out and getting rid of the pips. So I bought him that. Okay, so the next thing which I got is the culinary torch for kitchen and home use. So it's just a mini culinary torch, perfect for creme brulee and just the different types of meals that they like to do. So I thought because they're kind of baking enthusiasts, that would be quite a good gift. I also bought him a four pack of steak knives because my brother loves to eat steak. So yeah, and I also bought him a little flip knife. This is from, it's like a... a Parisian brand, I think. And yeah, so I thought that'd be quite a cute kind of personalized gift for him. So that's all that I purchased recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this very kind of quick, oh actually hold on, I have one more thing to show you. Okay, and so I guess this is the last thing and this would be my most favorite thing as well, is I purchased these runners. So I've been after a pair of Nike runners. I was hoping to go to the outlet store in my area, but they actually closed down. So I ended up buying these online from the ASOS website. These were on sale and I had an extra 10% discount. So I ended up getting them for around $90 shipped, which is very, very good because when I went to the Nike store, they were around 160 
So, and I love the colour. I love that it's black and then the rainbow print. And so I'm such a big fan of these and they're so comfortable. So they're my new running shoes and I got them for such a good price. So I'm really, really happy with that. So that was my haul now. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of quick haul. Um, let me know if you guys have bought anything recently or you think I should buy something because it's very me or you think it's very worthwhile. And yeah, I guess I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Bye.